I'm Lauren Frankham, and I'm here with quarterback Tanner Mangum and punter Johnny Linehan. What is up? Guys, I promise people have been tweeting in, and they're like, oh, I'm so stoked for this interview. Like, like all week, people have been talking about how excited they are for this part of the lineup. Yeah. Well, I'm just blessed to sit next to a quarterback. You know, they generally put us punters in a different room. <laughs> I'm grateful to be out of the cage now, you know, so hopefully I don't cause too much do drama. Do they feed you in your cage? What do, do they throw every, you? Every now and then. Yeah, I, get the, I get the scraps, yeah. But yeah. The O-line it usually eat it all, yeah. So. Hunters aren't peoples. So we're, yeah. we're a rare breed of something, but yeah, I don't think we're people, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, oh. I love this. I love what's happening. Sorry, they just said something in my ear because we were going to pull up some videos. We'll do it a little bit later. So, Johnny, you're from New Zealand. Teach us a couple New Zealand phrases. Like, get us a little familiarized with yeah, New well, Zealand. If you say it wrong, you could get me in trouble and I might be not playing this next season. But one of the biggest ones is sweet as, but only with one S. To say it, sweet as, so sweet as. a lot of people are like sweet as what? Sweet as sugar, sweet no, just sweet as. That's sweet as. We say as after everything. You could say, oh, how much do you weigh? Oh, dude, I weigh heaps as. Uh, like, good heaps job. As. Oh, mean as. You know, how cold is it? It's cool as today. You know. <laughs> why? Why? What is the point of that? Because we're lazy. I think we don't. We just kind of <laughs> drop off the thing. And as you can tell from me, we don't like speaking more than we have to. So <laughs> we, we try and. Try and abbreviate everything. Another funny one is suck the Kumara. <laughs> yes. Listen, a few of these you sound may be kicked off. Sound, of, sound a bit dodgy. No, so Kumara is what we call a sweet potato. That's just okay. the just the Maori, which are the native what, what people. What does it mean? Yeah, what, what does that? that mean? So I, I don't know. Like suck the Kumara, it just kind of means like suck it up. Okay. Like it's like someone's throwing a tantrum, having a fit or a hissy fit, we'd call it. You'd be like, oh man, go suck a Kumara, you know? Like, <laughs> go cry to someone that's actually gonna care about it, so. Have you ever been slapped by somebody when you've said that? Uh, or here not, in the United no, States? Not when, I, not when I've said it. I used to get the wooden spoon from my mum, though, so. Oh, yeah. that's too bad. But it was always great accomplishment when you got to break a wooden spoon. Yeah. <laughs> that probably, is accomplishment. Probably that my best accomplishment so far. You're pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> that means you're pretty tough. They must be feeding you right there in the cage, in the punter yeah. cage. Oh, man. Tanner. You're from Idaho. Yes. Teach us a few Idaho phrases. Te well, we'll teach Johnny some Idaho phrases. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've heard Idaho is famous for its potatoes, but that's not all we have. Uh, but other, I don't know, there aren't really too many Idaho phrases. Other, but honestly, like, people think, they hear them from Idaho, they're like, oh, do you live on a potato farm? But it's not true. Like, I'm, from the, I'm from the city part, they, from they, Boise. They so, ask if you live on a yeah, like, potato oh, farm. Yeah, like, do you like farm potatoes? I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> but our, like, even our license plates, like on our car, it says famous potatoes. <laughs> so I, I mean, love it. They are pretty good, but have you? Did you hear of Idaho before you came to the United States? I had like heard Idaho, of Idaho potatoes. I heard it was the like you didn't want to get cold there if you served a mission. <laughs> like Boise, Idaho. Now, you know, now I'm hearing all about it. It's a good place. <laughs> I, I really enjoy it. It has some has some good people come out There's of it. There's been so, some yeah, great players come out of Idaho. So. <laughs> potatoes in Idaho are kind of like sheep to New Zealand. There are 4 million people, 40 million sheep. <laughs> so people always ask, do I have any sheep? So I always say, yeah, I have 10 sheep just running around the backyard, you know. <laughs> we get hungry, cook them up, have some lamb. You say, right? sweet as, we have. Sweet as, we, we got some lamb, got yeah. Some lamb. <laughs> we can eat lamb and kumara. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, I love it. Do you say creek or crick? Creek. That's a bit, oh. It's a yes, creek. Yes, thank yeah. you. But most people say crick. Crick's kind of old Idaho. school. It's like, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of hick. Yeah, and yeah. you're not a hick. So. Yeah, I don't know. That might sound bad. I don't know. I say creek. Okay. Yeah. Coach Dittmer probably says creek. Yeah. I guarantee he says creek. <laughs> probably. Can, can either of you, Johnny, actually, we really wanted you to do an impression of Coach Dittmer. Can Coach you do Dittmer? It? Yeah. Um, oh, what does he say all the time? I don't know. He's probably been like, hey, Johnny, how are you doing today? You know, are you going to kick that thing as far as I can throw it, or what's going on? Like, <laughs> That's pretty good. It was really good. Yeah, too bad we're live, otherwise we probably could have cut that out. But who knows, yeah. <laughs> you, trying you, to erase it. You, you tweet at him a lot. You tweet at Coach Jemmer a lot. So I do, think. and I always get roasted. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to stop. His comebacks yeah. are on he's, point. He's, 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 he's good. witty. He's yeah. witty. Fantastic. He's clever. You he, wouldn't think, because he's so laid back. He's just he's got really his clever. cowboy and boots on. He gives on. you a hard time. I mean, like, this past spring during practice, like, there's, we always have um, these equipment managers, and they're, they're always in charge of the balls. Like, uh -huh. they... They're kind of like the referee, they always set the ball down and they, so, so Coach Detmer was like, hey, like, hey, set the ball in the middle of the field. So I, I tossed it to the, to the equipment manager and he's like, 
Are you so lazy you can't go over and put it down yourself? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, they're kind of serious. And I was, and it, I like just kind of, we just started working. Yeah. I wasn't sure, and I was like, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'll go get it. And, and, he's, and he's like, he's like, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just giving you a hard time. I know. Uh, yeah, he's like he's like really, he's really quick and aggressive. That's fantastic. Kind of, you know, he's, 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 he's sometimes good. he's tough to read, but he's funny. He's good. Oh, I love it, guys. So. One of the things I was most excited about for this interview is we have a couple video of you, videos of you guys that I want you guys to caption, okay? Uh -oh. We're going to pull up the first one here. I'm scared. I think it's <laughs> of uh, Johnny. Here we go. Johnny, what is going on here? <laughs> and let me also point out that it looked like you were snuggling with Coach Satake at the very <laughs> beginning, and then you get up and do your dance. So what's happening here? Well, Coach Satake and I have a very special relationship. <laughs> I think a fact that a lot of people don't know is he was actually a long snapper. Uh, um, really? as, as part of his running back, I think when he was a freshman or a sophomore. Okay, and I didn't know So that. yeah, he has a special place in his heart for special teams. So that's why I was cozying up to my, you know, <laughs> form, former, 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 former long people. snapper. Yeah. No, yeah. But if I was to caption this, I'd think probably the typical Provo party where you act drunk, but you have nothing to blame <laughs> for your <laughs> actions. So. <laughs> that is spot on. That is spot on. I like that caption. Okay, we're going to move over to Tanner's oh, video here. Let's see what we got. Oh, they're, they're We can they're just keep it playing this one. This is brilliant. Oh, here it is. Oh, no. Tanner, <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> moments of the 2015 season right here. Oh, what awesome. were you honestly doing? So, like, let's get so real I, talk here. What so I pulled happening? my hamstring, right, during the season. Yeah. And I always had it wrapped. <laughs> and the wrap was kind of like falling off. So the trainers told me, hey, at halftime, run into the locker room and we'll, we'll rewrap you, right? So I run in because I thought it was over. I thought the first half was over. And my pants are down. They're wrapping my hamstring, and then someone comes in and says, Tanner, the first half isn't over. They need you out there. <laughs> so I pull up my pants. I run out on the field. My pants are undone. <laughs> and I, I, so, so it was an embarrassing moment. But. We, we pulled this video up for Fred Warner and Harvey Lange <laughs> and made them caption it. And Harvey said, see, he's number 12 for a reason. Number one, because he, he couldn't decide whether he had to <laughs> number one or two. <laughs> he's running in. Anyway, it was good. fantastic. Yeah, it was actually a fourth down, so that's why he was probably confused. So I was a bit disappointed I didn't get to go on the field, you know, so. so, so oh, well. <laughs> okay, we're going to caption a few other photos. We're going to move on okay. to a game called Caption This. And it's going to be of your other teammates, so you guys can relax. Can write it down? Perfect. No, not yet. Okay. You keep saving those. You okay. keep saving those. Okay, let's pull up the first photo, if they can pull it up. Let's just, ah, uh, here we go. Oh, man. Caption This, guys. <laughs> I'd say hashtag swag daddy. <laughs> and that's Jamal. I mean, that's his name. And he's that, notice it's a Slytherin hat. That's a, oh. He picked Slytherin over even Gryffindor. Notice. This is Harry Potter. Yeah. It's like swag wizard. <laughs> swag wizard. That's a good one. Hashtag swag, swag wizard. Johnny, caption this. Man, I think like, I don't know, probably like secret fetish, you know, like just someone that. <laughs> Just, I don't know, loves Harry Potter and, and isn't going to let you know. would not expect that from your I don't, I don't, No. That must have been a, we love this. We're like, a leaked what? photo. That's, that's really unexpected. I know. I, he actually posted it himself, so really? it wasn't really leaked. So I'm he, of, he would be Slytherin. I'm more of a Gryffindor guy. He would be Slytherin. Yeah. Me too. I would. Yeah. What are you, Hufflepuff? No, Hufflepuff for sure, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, because it sounds the funniest, you know. Yeah. So, oh, and man. I don't think they, like... I feel like they're very good at anything. So they're like the outcasts. They're, I think they're like supposed to be like the kind ones. Oh, they're the kind ones? Yeah. 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 Kind hearted. Like the cheerleaders. Yeah. That's good. Well, okay. I'm a cheerleader. Let's move yeah. on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Caption this. Oh, Coach Detmer. <laughs> yeah, that's With probably honestly, the best. The, the best catch. Coach Detmer. Just, just Coach Detmer. But that's, that's probably not one of his proudest catches. I mean, he's got a lot better than that. No, we're, we're going to find something good because we're going to so, bring this up with him. We, we interview him in a little bit, and we're going to pull this up. Uh, I'm going to caption this with, I wore this shirt, so if I caught a small fish, it would take the attention away from that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. Just, oh, I love uh, we, that. We catch. Sure. We catch. We yeah. catch. We're going to go to the next one. <laughs> He's in church, by the way. I'm just Ooh, pointing that out. Reno. Man, we, we sleeping go, in church with a little boy. We can do a whole show on Reno. <laughs> yeah. his, Give me some good insights on Reno, because we, he and Coach Detmer are coming on together. One too many. <laughs> Does he have like eight kids? I, I think he has. Does like, he? 
He has like seven or eight kids. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Hashtag I think, I think one too like many. The last straw, one too many. <laughs> yeah, Reno, like Reno's it. another one that's lit, witty. Um, I would say just kind of like um, likening the scriptures unto myself and my child <laughs> in the sense that it's Lehi time. You know, Lehi had his revelation when he was asleep. And it's very important, especially in church, when you're yeah. feeling the spirit to have revelation. So closing the eyes is the only option sometimes. <laughs> I think that's exactly what he was doing. Teach your children to pray. So you, great. Yeah. 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 Wow. What a great example. Good job, Reno. <laughs> Spiritual <laughs> giant there. Okay. Now we're going to move on there to the go. next game called BYU Football Family Feud. Okay. Ooh, so I love pulled, this show. Yeah, right? Who doesn't want to be on the show? Johnny, have you seen Family Feud before? I have, yeah. Okay. don't so, really know much about it, but I've seen, seen it. We pulled 40 guys from the team oh, wow. to answer these questions. Okay. The first one is most likely to cry during the notebook. Oh God. You can pick any guy on the team. Most likely to cry during the notebook. Oh man. You get 10 seconds. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Tanner, let's see yours first. Me. <laughs> you got number two. <laughs> Why would you pick yourself? Why? I'm a bit of a softie. I'm a little bit of a sensitive side. Kind of, kind of romantic, and that one gets me. That's I, adorable. Yeah. Have you cried during the notebook? Yes. Multiple, <laughs> multiple times. Oh my god. So that's why I put me. Okay. Number two? You got number two. You, you had three votes. The guy that took number one had four votes. Okay, so close. That's good. Who do you got? So I have Tijon. <laughs> Because <laughs> he wasn't he, on there. Yeah. But why'd you pick him? No, see, that's the thing that a lot of people don't know. But I get to observe things being a punter. He's he's big and strong, but he has a soft side to him, and I'm sure he balls during the notebook. But <laughs> don't tell him I said that, because otherwise he might not have a soft side on me. Because legit, because <laughs> legitimately that guy needs to name his arms. So who, who was so. number one? I was number two. You were number two. Braden El Bakri was number El one. El Bakri. <laughs> he probably would. He's yeah. a bit of a. Spaz. And then they had like Parker Da, Trevor Brent, Nick Kurtz, Travis. Trevor Hill. Brent. Yeah. yeah, they were on there. <laughs> Okay, the second one. Most likely to run for president of the United States. Oh, no hesitation. <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got two options, but I'll go with one. That was the best one. Yeah, it's just so obvious. Okay, let's see it, Tanner. Peter. Austin Heater. You got it. He got number one. He had 10 votes. Most likely to be president of the United States. It's unanimous. Yeah, it was a landslide. Yeah. What did you pick? See, I actually voted in this and I chose Heater, but I changed my answer to Adam Pulsifer. Oh. I don't know if he got any. He didn't. He didn't get any. You're See, always rooting for the underdog. I'm rooting for the Great. underdog. Well, we need an underdog in this presidential election, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I'll, yeah. I'll take Heater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, he, it's he not too late. We should try very a campaign. Yeah. Presidential. Very solid. Just, you just look at him, he just looks like a president, you know? Good does, guy. Does he, how does he approach the defense? Like, does he lead it as if he were... Yeah, big leader, vocal, knows what he wants, goes after it, stands for what's right. I respect Heater. Way to go, Austin Heater. So, with that description, maybe not the best suitor for president. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're going to get booted out yeah, of this country, I'm Johnny. No. Deported. Yeah, well, I got my green card, so I'm safe now. <laughs> they had, so Taysom Tanner, you were on there, really? number two as well. Austin Hoyt and Garrett Jurgens. Oh, those yeah. are some of the yeah. other guys. So I thought of Taysom too. So yeah. So Taysom was two. Um, you and Taysom tied days. for two, and Austin Hoyt. Nice. Okay, our last one. Most superstitious player. Oh. Who's the most superstitious player? Like, if you think of the guys that have any like pregame traditions that they do. I don't really know. Do we have anyone that? I'm just gonna put down what I, what I think. Okay, Johnny, let's see yours that first. That could be right. Okay, so I chose Parker Door. He was on there. He was third. He was third. So yes. I'm on the Why board. him? What does he do? So I don't necessarily know what he does, but he just strikes me as some guy that just seems like <laughs> yeah. to get in the zone, you have to do something special. But for me, it's just dabbing in front of the music, and <laughs> doing the whip and what's Running Man and Whenever shuffling. Whenever Parker's on the bus, he listens to Eminem. So that he yeah. gets into his zone. Okay. And, yeah, I can see that. So he so kind of has a routine. Who'd I you put pick? Harvey. Harvey Longy. He was not on there. Not on there. Mm. Nope. Why'd you pick Harvey? Dang. Just because he's, I don't know. I don't know if superstitious is the right word, but he's very deliberate in how he prepares and how he works and how he gets ready. And he, he always gets in, like really pumped up and gives good motivational speeches. And he just knows 
I don't know. I feel like he just knows what he does, mm -hmm. and he does it a certain way, and it helps him perform. So he does it every time. But I guess it wasn't the right answer. Well, to maybe your surprise, number one was Johnny Linehan. Hey, no look way. At that, dude. You had nine votes. Nine, nine people votes. said you were the most superstitious. Do you have any superstitions? Nah, just I, <laughs> besides nah. dabbing in front. Of, what did you say? Yeah, just doing some dance move. I don't know. Who else was yeah, on there? Was Micah Hanneman on there? James Baird, oh. Jacob Jimenez, and Parker Daw. Hmm. That's funny. I think uh, yeah, maybe like what I do is I always ran down to the same spot. And I like to touch inside like the five. And this season I'm going to start stretching inside the one. And I'm going to try and avoid going in the end zone because I don't want my punts to go in there. So I'm going to try and be a bit more superstitious. It is superstitious. Last season I didn't, but this season. I have some pregame routines, but I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I'm that superstitious. I want, I want to ask you guys one more question just for fun. We'll do it quick. We don't have very much time. Who would you let date your little sister on the team? Well, they're married. <laughs> The guy, who would you pick? <laughs> the Jurgens brothers, either Mitch That's or Gary. True. Those are like the best guys I know. Yes. That Thanks. was a good one. Thanks. But they're, but they're, they're both. <laughs> you You're married too, though. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, yeah, for so him to say they're the best guys right next to me. Tanner, so last year we had Louis and T. John Crum on. We asked them <laughs> this question, and Louis picked you. Really? T. John, T. John picked Louis. And if you didn't pick them back, so they, uh, they were, a little, were kind of in a fight. Because you had only been on the team for like a couple days. Yeah, I was fresh. So yeah, you were barely off your mission, and Louis picked you. That's, that's an honor. To, I'm yeah, honored. you made T. John, man, so look out. But, <laughs> but I, I say the Jurgens brothers, for sure. I yeah. like it. I would pick Coach Detmer, just because he can obviously feed a family with the fish that he, <laughs> that he caught. So <laughs> if he was a little bit younger. That's good. That's very smart, very smart. <laughs> Guys, thanks for being here with us. Next, we're going to have, we're going to keep Tanner here with us. Yep. And we're going to have Moroni Laulu Pututau. That name, my goodness. And we're going to be speaking in Spanish, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>